Hi guys, a quick little modification project. I uh, used to get these from Poundland. Uh, I haven't seen them in Poundland for quite a while, but I've seen them in other places. Um, used to have a magnet there, which wasn't very strong. I replaced it with three neodymiums. Runs on three AAA batteries. Oh, I suppose I'll turn it on. Yeah, gives a reasonably good light. But I thought I might change it from three AAA batteries. Oh. To one of my vape batteries. I've got um, quite a few in here and loads more out in the garage in storage. Uh, I think these are ones that I checked fairly recently. And I think these are the good ones. That's a typical vape. A uh, battery in there would be uh, something like that. Might be a smaller one, but that sort of size. I was wondering what size we can fit in here. I think that will fit in there with no trouble whatsoever. Not that way it went. It's sticking out a bit too much. How about a smaller one? That's a smaller size one. That'll fit in that way round, so it hasn't got little pegs in the way. Yeah, that fits fine that way round. Well, I could cut the tray out the way, but I want to actually leave it just in case I want to put it back together the right way. Actually, that looks like that might fit crossways. Might be squeezing it. Yeah, I think those will be digging into it. But certainly of that size, which you'll see I've already modified for other purposes, that will fit in that way round with no trouble at all. So, yeah, plan is to actually put one of these connectors on the terminals there so we can go back to using ordinary batteries if I ever want to. So yeah, let's find another one that size then. Oh, a bit bigger. <laughs> oh, there's one. Yeah, it looks the same size. Just put a meter on it, see what sort of power we got in there at the moment. Oh, that's a bit low. When they're that low, there's a good chance they won't actually charge up properly. They really want, don't want to be much below three volts. So that might not be a good one. Another small one. Got it on backwards. <laughs> 1.8. That's a bit closer. Really, so say so you don't want them to be below about three. Oh, another very low one. Because these have been sat in the tin for quite a long time. 
Well, what I'll do is I'll put a connector on that and see if I can get some charge into it. If it takes charge, then we'll use it. If it doesn't, then I'll dispose of it. Right, we'll try and get some power into that LiPo. So I'm going to give it 0.4 amps, 1S. Right, what that's telling me is it's too low voltage at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll tell it that it's a nickel metal hydride. So I'm going to put 0.1 amps into it. But it doesn't really care about the fact it's low voltage now. I'm actually showing 2.8 at the moment. We'll get, let it get up to about 3 point something. And that should be enough for it to accept as a LiPo. There is always the possibility that you're going to overdo this and it'll burst into flames. So you need to be aware of that and be prepared. I'll probably let it get up to about 3.2 or 3.3 and then switch it back to LiPo charging. Okay, 3.3, stop that. LiPo battery, 0.4 amps, 3.7 volts, 1S. Now it's happy. So we'll leave that. Still keep an eye on it in case it catches fire. We'll come back later. While the battery's on charge, we'll take this apart and solder on that connector. I could just solder it directly onto these tags, but I'll probably melt the plastic. So we'll see if we can solder it on the other side. I've used these little um, lights or torches or what you want to call it for quite a few of my projects, taken them apart and used that LED array. I say Poundland doesn't do them anymore, so I have to get them from somewhere else. Come on, how you come? So that button is stuck in there. <laughs> right. Yeah, nice LED array. A lot of the modern ones have got the um, the smaller chips, or whatever you want to call them. But this is the good old-fashioned individual LEDs. And all I want to do is connect that onto those two tags. So that's your battery negative. Yes, that's your battery positive. So if I can... I'm going to just go round like that. I probably do actually round like that. Okay, yeah, I'll just solder them on there. Connector in place. Connected up that battery temporarily. So that looks good. Now we'll try and get it back together. Just a little thought. Um, if I had wanted to, I could have included one of these little TP4056. Is it 4056? I can't remember. 
one of these modules, charging modules, if we'd have cut it around a bit and made a little USB slot on the side there, we could have actually had that in there and made it chargeable just by plugging in a USB lead. But I'm not going to do that just now. I'm quite happy to be able to unplug it like that. And if I have to, I can still use the AAA batteries in there. Right, I'll just go and see if that other battery is charged up yet. Well, we've managed to get the full charge into it, 4.2 volts. So uh, we'll give it a try. Just in case you're wondering or haven't followed the general idea, the LiPo batteries, they say 3.7 volts on them. When they're freshly charged, as you've just seen, they go up to 4.2 volts. Three uh, ordinary batteries, AAA batteries in this case, one and a half volts each, so 4.5 volts, nominal voltage. Again, when they're absolutely fresh out of the box, they're slightly over that. You probably get maybe as much as 4.8 volts out of them. But then they uh, die back or run down, same as this will. But it should be enough to keep it running quite happily. Okay, that's in there. Get that in there. Just check. Yep. Plenty of light. So that's another. What can we do with those vape batteries? To so say, for a little bit more effort, I could have put a charging circuit in there. And we could have charged it without even taking the back off. But this was only supposed to be a five minute mod. <laughs> Took me a little bit longer because we had to charge the battery. There we go. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.